All right. Uh, welcome to Shabiti Uganda e-learning. Uh, my name is Nelson. Uh, this is my telephone number. Uh, this is our email. That is e-learning at shiability.net. Uh, and in today's video, we are making a continuation of uh, how we can apply now these sets uh, that we have been looking uh, that we have been looking at uh, in our set concept. Uh, this is like we are wrapping up, uh, getting all the knowledge uh, that we have got from uh, our videos, uh, starting from our first topic up to uh, where we are. So we had the question uh, that was about sets and Venn diagram and we are able to answer some part of those questions uh, so we are remaining with some other uh, questions so in today's video i want also to ensure that all those questions are done and also want to ensure that we have discussed all uh, those questions so here was the question uh, it was about uh, <coughs> uh, in a class there being 12 pupils uh, uh, who like English given a uh, letter E and also 15 liking math and also the five who likes both All right so uh, we are tasked to uh, represent the information on what on a Venn diagram so we are able to discuss uh, and uh, look at this in our recent video uh, so we were remaining with some questions here uh, where they wanted us to understand or uh, they wanted us to uh, to find out the number of people who like only one subject and also to find out how many people in the class how many people are there in the class okay uh, now when you look at this set uh, there are some uh, the summation of these people have been given here but how did they come about or how do we understand if you are given a such information how do we get the, the summation or the total number of people who were in the class? So we are going to see how uh, these people were able to get uh, this summation uh, of the whole lot of the set. Uh, then also we are going to look at uh, if they tell you find the number of people who like only one subject, how do you do and which concept uh, do you use uh, to find the correct answer? Okay, let's look at the set first. Uh, remember, we have been given here. Uh, we have been given this set. And in this set, we have the number of people who like English. Okay. Uh, where these numbers are 12. Uh, but in these 12, okay, remember our set passes from here up to here. Uh, that is where uh, the 12 uh, passes. Also, our set uh, M, which is mathematics, uh, passes from here up to here so uh, that means uh, we have a number of uh, a number of people uh, who likes both uh, that is the intersection that is the intersection part uh, where uh, we have the five so in a simple term uh, let me get my pen to demonstrate it more uh, so in a simple term that is uh, we shall be able to find out if we have the number of people uh, who likes English are 12 and those who likes mathematics are 15 and those who likes both are uh, they are 5 okay we can calculate it further from here you can calculate it further from here uh, we are having the number of uh, people who do English okay we are going to abbreviate it that is going to be our set what our set E uh, there are 12 okay and we also have the number of people uh, who uh, do mathematics that is our set M they are they are 15 now we are trying to extract the information uh, from our from our information uh, then we also have uh, the number of uh, people who do both okay so this is uh, the number of e this is going to be our e we are just representing the intersection uh, that is english uh, intersection what 
intersection math uh, these guys are what uh, five so now uh, they want us to find uh, those members who only do english uh, they want us to find the members who do only one subject okay only what only one subject but remember we have uh, the number of people who do english where these numbers are what are 12 okay they are 12 but in the 12 we have uh, those members uh, who also do what who do uh, both where they are five okay so that means uh, we shall be having these numbers uh, this number who do uh, English okay the number of people who do English uh, when they are this number are equal to 12 but we are going to subtract uh, those members who do what who do both how many are they they are five so uh, this means uh, to get for us to get uh, those members who only do one subject we should get uh, those members who do both and we subtract it from each subject then after subtracting each uh, from each subject then we shall be able to uh, add them so here we are getting our uh, members who do only English here what is 12 minus 5 uh, 12 minus 5 I shall be able to get uh, 7 uh, then we we'll also get uh, those members who do mathematics uh, those are the number of pupils uh, number of pupils who do mathematics we are abbreviating it as what as M uh, they were equal to 15 uh, then we shall also now be able to say our 15 uh, 15 minus what minus those number of people who are doing both so we shall be able to get uh, those as what as 10 those are the number of people who only do one subject those who are only doing mathematics and those who are only doing uh, English so that means after getting the number of those uh, people who are doing only one then we shall be able to add uh, those people shall be able to add them and get the total number of those people who are doing only one subject so we are having now our uh, seven okay here we shall be having our what our seven uh, then plus uh, our seven who do only English and the ten who only do uh, mathematics so uh, we shall be having a total number of uh, 17 uh, so we can say uh, there are only 17 who only do a uh, one subject so to make a recap of this we can say um, in so doing this we can say also uh, that uh, those people who only do one subject we just only need to understand uh, those people who do, who do only mathematics and those people who do only English then we add them and get uh, the total number of people who do only one subject then also let's look at uh, how do we get uh, the total number of people okay how do we get the total uh, number of people okay let's see how do we get the total number of people uh, within the whole class Okay, so this is going to be total uh, total number of pupils. Okay, total number of what? Total number of pupils. Okay, so uh, now uh, for us to get the total number of pupils, we have to look here. Uh, we had uh, the fifteen what? at uh, the 15 um we had the total number of people who are doing english there were 12 of uh, then uh, we also had the total number of people who are doing mathematics uh, where we are 15 uh, then for us to get those people who are only doing only one subject 
uh, we are able to get uh, we are able to get them they are here only one subject so that means we shall be now able to get uh, the summation of all the addition of uh, those pupils who are doing only one subject okay uh, that is going to be uh, the 17 and also we add those pupils who are doing uh, all the subject okay so that is simply uh, doing it in this way we get our seven for those who are doing only english and also get our 10 for those who are only doing what only doing mathematics and also we add uh, those pupils who are doing uh, both subject okay so here we shall be able to come up with uh, 22 what 22 pupils uh, who are uh, doing all the what all um, uh, we shall be able to come up with the 22 pupils who are uh, in the whole class so for us to represent uh, the total pupils as we have written it here we should be able we write it as a uh, number of uh, number of all the pupils who are doing i mean who are in the whole class will be equal to uh, 20 22 all right so uh, this is how we write it uh, in a uh, form of mathematics uh, not writing it as a statement uh, this is a simplified way uh, which is not complicated all right uh, so uh, that is how uh, we can calculate uh, if you are given a set and they want you to find out the total number of people within that uh, class that is uh, the formula you can use also when they tell you to find uh, the two number of people who like only one subject uh, that means they want you to get the summation of uh, that person who is in the other set uh, doing only one subject and the other person in, the, in another set uh, who is doing one subject and you add them they will give you the total number of people who are doing only uh, one subject so that is a recap of our question so we shall also be able to deal with some other uh, related question in another video or in another lesson uh, please be able to uh, follow up our uh, uh, step by step uh, video lessons for you to understand more about this thank you very much uh, let me say um, let me say uh, that uh, in all our videos uh, please you should be able to uh, follow and um, check out on the recent videos and also subscribe to get uh, the new upcoming lessons uh, we do not mind to leave you uh, behind uh, you can also comment uh, in our comment section we shall be able to do the favorite for you to to move uh, with us at the same uh, the same page Okay, uh, stay blessed, nice moment.